Hi, welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound Channel. Today I want to share an idea with you that I had which would help in the development and testing of the analog DIY synth modules that I build for my various systems here. And the idea is to have a development and testing frame. This is the frame where I can mount the modules on the front of the frame, but it's an open framework, which means I get easy access to the circuit boards, the wiring, the connectors for testing purposes. Now, the key part about this is that there's a, a power supply module that is kind of stays with the frame. And that module, that, that gives me plus 12 volt, no, minus 12 volt, but it also gives me plus nine volt and ground and plus five volt and ground. So just about any module I want to try and put together and test and develop, I can put it in this frame and get easy access to all the various parts of that particular module. Um, so let's have a little closer look at what's, uh, what's inside, particularly the power supply and how the idea behind the framework works. This is looking into the back of the frame. So the main module for the frame is this one here. This is a the plus and minus 12 volt power supply. It's the same design that Christian Blausel uses on his uh, modular in a week series. It's the original one he built. He's beefed it up since then because he's got lots of modules going on but for a, a small frame where he's really just kind of one or two modules testing or even something like Project 12 I've, I've not really had any problems with that um, it provides enough power output so from the bottom here I've got some connectors which give me plus, naught and minus 12 I've taken from the plus and naught I've come out onto a, another little board here and so this first board has got a, a 9 volt regulator so it's fed with 12 volts DC and then I've got three connectors which give me a regulated 9 volt DC output what I've then done from the 9 volt DC output there, I've connected it to the second board, which has got a 5 volt regulator on it. So now I've got a couple of connectors on the end here, which gives me 5 volts plus 5 volts DC output there. So from here, I've got plus minus 12 volt or just plain 12 volt DC. From here I've got plus 9 volt DC and from here I've got plus 5 volt DC. So any modules I want to put in here, whatever the, the voltage demand is, I can generally cope with it. Um, the modu these other two modules just out of interest. This is a, uh, a VCA module which sort of works um, though not quite how I expected it to. I've not really bottomed that one. This module is, if you've seen my earlier videos, this is the kick drum which I thought I got working and sort of worked um, but not like it should. So I mounted it in this frame and I've been prodding and poking around and I think I've discovered some, well, I think it's as simple as bad connections um, where wires look like they're soldered on but it's possibly a dry joint. Um, so we're going to see whether that will fix it. Um, but that's for another video so yeah come back and maybe we'll see that. From the front simply have these panels can rest on the bottom rail 
and then they screw through to either top and bottom when I mean, the, the power supply is, is screwed down quite firm um, this one is just it's just screwed in the bottom but it's firm enough for getting in with probes and testing so there you go a test and development framework for DIY modular synths very simple very straightforward if you think one could be useful then go on have a go build your own